Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I am talking about I Zombie episode number I mean season number three, episode number eleven, Conspiracy Weary. It's episode directed by Mark um, Pesnarski. And here we have Liv eating a brain. I'm not the victim of a crime this time, but eating the brain of one of the people who was in charge of the exposing the zombies to the world group. But this time, it wasn't just her having the vision. The, she was. Um, she also shared this brain with um, Blaine and Don. They all ate on the same brain, which made them a little crazy, and made them come up with a lot of strange, weird conspiracies, and they went into a whole lot of paranoia about about everything. Which was funny and fun to watch, especially the scene when they had them discussing if Tupac was actually dead or not. And I love that scene a lot. I think it was the best part of the, of the show for me. It made me laugh. I really did enjoy it a whole lot. Especially when Liv came in and de debunking the little theory, in which I thought she was, was going to be the level headed one. And then she threw in Tupac, and I mean, she threw in Biggie, and the whole thing about a clone. And I just, oh my God, it went even crazier, but I loved every minute of it. It was just hilarious fun to watch. Because, see, things get revealed in this episode here. We found out that the mayor, I mean, the guy running for mayor, um, um, Floyd um, 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 Barakis, played by Kurt Evans, may not be on up and up. He may have some ties to some bad people. And then you find out that um, Ravi's new friend, um, Rachel, Rachel Greenbolt, who's played by um, Ella Cannon, is also part of the problem. But from a different, from a different point. You see, we thought she was just a, just a photographer. We found out a little bit more about her this episode here. And what she does is going to hurt the whole zombie movement more than anything. And all it's going to do is bring in more fear and more people killing zombies for no reason. Like, oh, great. I thought she, was part of, I thought she might be part of the solution, but she's actually part of the problem. And then you have Major, and he's with, he with his girlfriend Shauna, and they have a falling out. Now, I knew from the start this, this relationship was doomed. First, cause first of all, I, could, I didn't really trust Shauna that much. But she seemed like a nice girl. But for, 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 for a part of me, I just couldn't trust her. Well, you find out exactly what she was up to. I mean, it wasn't, what she was doing wasn't bad, per se. But it didn't help Major in, in, him, in his cause, really. In his life, really. Because, see, everybody still sees him as a psychopathic killer. But, but, she's try, but she tried to do something... To help Major out, but she thought it was going to help him out, but it backfired on him. Because here's here's the thing, she took pictures of, and videos of them together. Now Major just thought they were just sharing these moments together and share these videos with, with each other, but she put it on her Tumblr page and it's exposed it to the world, and now everybody's seeing these pictures and it's not having the effect that she wanted to have. She's trying to make everybody see Major the way she sees Major. Not as a killer, but as a good guy and a nice guy. Somebody you would like to know and be friends with. But it didn't work out that way. It just seems like Major is just flaunting the fact that he didn't go to jail for not killing somebody, for killing people. So everybody just thinks he's just a killer who got free and he's just pretty much bragging about it. So, yay. So they pretty much broke up. Yeah. Yeah. But like I said, things get revealed. The show is funny as always, and like I said, that scene with the whole Tupac theory thing was just hilarious. And, and something different happened this time that I, I, I never thought would ever happen ever. Um, you had Liv, you had um, Blaine, and you had Don. They all shared the vision. At the same time, their vision kicked in, and each and every one of them saw the same vision at the same time. I thought it was really freaky. It was like some kind of weird psychic connection they all had together because they shared the same brain, so they all had the same vision at the same time. And I, I never thought that was going to happen. I never thought I ever, I ever would see that, but actually, I, I did enjoy what I saw. So overall... Another fun episode. I really did enjoy it a whole lot. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of I Zombie. You have any thoughts or theories about if the if the guy running for mayor is actually pretty evil, or maybe is he's not, or something else? Yeah. And who are these people? Who was the person who actually did shoot the mayor? 
Was it somebody else or was it somebody he hired to make it look like he was the, like, the victim? Because after that shooting thing, his pose went up. So, maybe he was behind that the whole time. That would be messed up. Yeah. So, like I said, leave your comments down below. Well, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So, give my channel a big like that thumbs up. Mm, boom. And subscribe to my channel. And share. I really would appreciate it. So like I always say in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. A uh, peace out, uh, peoples.